Today, with such a vote, these chambers will become the incinerator of the Constitution. There is no fairness in this process. There is no justice, and there is no dignity. The charges in these articles of impeachment are meritless and not proven. Perjurious remarks have not been proven. Misleading, evasive statements are not perjurious, per the rule of law of the United States Supreme Court under Bronson. Abuse of power has not been proven. Monica Lewinsky said the president did not ask me to lie. And obstruction of justice has not been proven because the president answered the 81 questions. In light of the revelations of the last 24 hours, I believe not one of us in these chambers, not one member, would ask for the resignation of a member so charged. But as a woman, adultery is adultery. Nevertheless, the majority is recklessly attempting to make impeachable offenses purely private acts in direct attack on the framers' intent that impeachment was for great and dangerous offenses against the Constitution. How do we heal this nation? How do we find uncommon courage? The majority must allow us to vote on a freestanding central resolution constitutionally allowed that acknowledges that the president was morally wrong misled the American people, and that the president upon leaving office will be subject to civil and criminal penalties. To do more lays the shredding of this Constitution at our feet. Today, with the vote for the Articles of Impeachment, we will use the ultimate weapon. We will use the ultimate death knell, the removal from office of this duly elected president for acts not against the president or the government, our censor resolution does not violate the Constitution. It does not and is not a bill of attainder. It does not restrain the property or the liberty of the president. It is constitutionally sound. But today, this House will see sunset fall. And as we see it fall, today our vote leads into the darkness of a vile attack on the Constitution. We leave here today void and empty because our president will have been toppled against the will of the people of the United States. Mr. President, if you can hear me, do not resign. This is not a parliamentary and former government. My colleagues, to you I say, heal our nation. Rise and vote for censure. Do the just and right thing. For it is written, Mr. Speaker, judge not and ye shall not be judged. Condemn not and ye shall not be for condemned. Forgive and ye shall be forgiven. Vote for a censor resolution and abolish this unseemly act against our president and the Constitution. I yield back.